Hey gang, Tony here, and I have for you what I feel is really like the first actual yard sale video of the year. I know I did a yard sale video prior to this, but if I remember correctly, there were like two items or something, and then in, in the weeks that have been going, it, it's been bad, man. It like rains every weekend, or I just can't find any yard sales, or if I do find yard sales, there's nothing good. So, uh, you know, today was a weird mixed bag. Um... Overall, it was a good yard sale day, but my brother and I, you know, we were driving around, and um, we got up super early, got up at like 6 a.m. so I could get to the flea market with him uh, at 7 or 7.30 we were going shooting for. Beautiful all week. No, you know, wasn't calling for rain or anything today. Uh, as, as, as far as I knew since yesterday, it wasn't supposed to rain today. Um... And it was kind of overcast this morning, and just as we're about to get to the flea market, it starts pouring. So we're sitting there in the car, and it's pouring rain, and everyone, we could kind of see into the field, everyone's covering up their stuff, and we're like, oh my god. And we didn't want to get soaked, and everything was covered, so we just, we left. Um, we went shopping, and then we actually, it kind of cleared up a little bit, and we actually ended up finding some yard sales. So, what did I get at these yard sales. I got a bag. I got a bag of stuff. It's not too bad, right? Um, there's a bunch of stuff up, uh, not up here that I felt like you guys don't need to see, but just kitchen stuff. There was this one estate sale and they were basically said fill up a bag for five bucks and I filled up a big bag with, um, actually Mike and I like just pooled a bunch of stuff into the one bag and I got a bunch of kitchen stuff, microplane and whisks and rub spatulas and uh, all kinds of stuff, tongs and whatnot. So that, that was kind of cool. And then um, at another yard sale, I picked up uh, two mason jars, which is probably equally as interesting to you as the kitchen stuff that I didn't show you. But uh, I had these up here, so I figured I'd just... Yeah. Uh, they were selling by the boxes, but I only really needed one or two. And if you guys have been following my Instagram, and maybe even on Facebook a little bit, I started a sourdough starter a few days ago, and I really wanted to move it from the plastic container I have it into a nice glass container. So I'm going to put a sourdough starter in one of these, and the other one I'll just save for uh, maybe mason jar tea or something. I don't know. Or hmm, cold brew. Hmm. Cold brew. Maybe. All right, so that was, that was uh, one of a lot of stuff today that I needed. Not stuff that's really, like, exciting. Jazz hands for exciting, by the way. Next up, what do I got here? Oh, even more, even more exciting. Foam wrap. That was one of the things I threw in the bag for the dollar. I'm going to use that for packing and whatnot. Uh, oh my god, even more exciting stuff. Popsicle sticks. <laughs> this was another thing that I threw in the, de the bag for $5. Um... I use them to mix resin for sculptures, so I could use them. Why not? A key. Skeleton key kind of thing? I don't know. Wind up key? Skate key? I, I don't know. There were two of them. I gave one to Mike and I kept the other one. Again, it was in that bag for $5, so it was kind of, it got to a point where it was like, put anything in the bag, we have to pay $5 anyway, might as well take as much stuff as we can. So uh, that was just like a cool little thing that we threw in the bag. Um, then there was a sale where I found a couple movies. I've got here, uh, Drag Me to Hell, which is a rental disc from 48 Hour Video. It says that it has two versions, the unrated and the theatrical. I don't own it. It was $2, which I, at yard sales I like to pay a dollar for DVDs, but I, $2 is cheap, let's be honest. It's still pretty cheap. So that was not bad. It's a movie that I would like to own. And I got The Octagon with <laughs> Chuck Norris on its a media VHS tape. Um, I'll be honest with you, I really have very little interest in ch old Chuck Norris movies. Uh, it's not really my thing, but I got it to give to Tony, Mr. Tony of the Dead. 
because uh, we're meeting up next week and we're going to a VHS convention, Severed VHS convention in Stroudsburg. And uh, we're doing like a, a trade, a little trade. And not that I had to give him more stuff, but I saw that, you know, I figured he, Tony, if you're watching, I guess spoilers, now you know one of the things I'm going to give you. But uh, it seemed like a cool one. It's Media, which is one of those VHS companies that kind of, pretty cool. Looks like it's been cut on the side. There used to be a flap here, I think. But, so that's for Tony. And then I got this partly because it had a plastic case for the VHS. And partly because I was interested to see the movies that are on here. It's a taped cassette. Uh, there is a little mold on it. It's not really that bad. But there are definitely some mold spores going on inside there. Uh, the reason that doesn't bother me too much is because I have a VHS player that I've put moldy tapes in to convert to digital. They were old home movies uh, that I was doing like digital conversions for a Christmas present a couple of years ago. And um, I saved that VHS player so if I ever got moldy tapes that I wanted to try to save, um, I can just convert it to digital. I know you could clean them. I know Tony actually does that too, but I mean it's just a taped tape, so I'm not going to try to save the tape. I'm just going to look and see if I want to copy it over. But it's got Man with Two Brains, Used Cars from 1930, and 48 Hours. And then it says Not the Movie S4595. I don't know what that means, but I'm kind of interested. I'm kind of also interested to see if there's like commercials and stuff on there, but you know, you know how it goes with that. So that is, those are all of the movies that I got. Picked up a random little Smurf character. I don't really collect these, but I have a couple of like Halloween ones, but and this was just sitting there and I was, it was one of the, one of the early yard sales, and I wasn't sure if we were going to hit many today, and I was like, oh, right, whatever, so I grabbed it. I think it was like a quarter or something. He's pretty cool, though. Um, a Native American Smurf. And... Oh, right. So then I got... This was, um... I don't know if I told you that the VHS tapes were 50 cents each. The movie was $2, I had to tell you that. The jars, I don't remember, I told you it was a buck. Uh, and then I got a little box of these McDonald's toys. They're all Sega games. It's a complete set. There's uh, six of them. So it's a complete set of these. Three of them are sealed still. The other three are open, but they are still still have the bag and the instructions with them. There's a... Uh, I'll show you the ones out of the bag. This is Tails Sky Patrol. You can see they're like little handheld games. And, um... This one is Super Monkey Ball Banana Catch. Little McDonald's toys. These things are usually kind of like not big sellers. You know, if you try to resell them. But I checked on eBay, and the full set you could get like 13 bucks for. I paid a dollar for the set. Uh, there's a Sonic action game. There's another Sonic one, and um, there's a Knuckles one, and a what's the other the other character? Shadow, Shadow Grinder, Sonic Soccer, and. Sonic Speedway. Alright. None of those have working batteries. They were from 2003. And then I also threw in a Crash Bandicoot. This was also open. Uh, Crash Bandicoot handheld game from McDonald's as well. This was part of a set, uh, like kind of like the other one. But uh, that was the only one of those that I saw. So I just put it with those. It was a buck for the whole batch. I think, I think I'm probably just going to try to sell these on eBay unless someone's interested and wants to do a little trade. I'd be down. But uh, I didn't really buy those for me. I mean, they were kind of interesting, but I don't 
I don't really collect McDonald's toys to this extent. If you watched my previous video, you do know I went to McDonald's recently and got a Mc, uh, uh, Nintendo Luigi toy, but that was just kind of like a thing. So, got a nice little set there for someone or to sell. And last item, and this is, I save, I always save the big ones for last, right? Uh, this was the big score of the day for sure. Um, I almost missed it because it was on a table with a bunch of watches and was kind of covered and it was kind of like out of sight and I was not really paying close enough attention I guess but it's weird at yard sales how you could like look right past something a number of times but I, I looked a little closer and I, I saw it and I grabbed it paid uh, she wanted a dollar? Mm, I think it was a buck no it wasn't it was there was like uh, 50 cents it was 50 cents um, it is a Qbert Nelsonic watch game from 1983. This, of course, is um, not working at the moment because the battery is dead. I'm hoping when I replace the battery that it will be working. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't because this is a... Uh, it looks to be in really good condition, like maybe ne never really even worn. Uh, these are pretty sought after. Not this particular title, but Nelsonic watch games in general are usually pretty big sellers. Um, this one, the the price, it, it fluctuates pretty, extre just extreme uh, fluctuation. There, I think the lowest one I saw sell for was about $15, but that was kind of an outlier. Most of them go for anywhere between $40 all the way up to, I think the highest I saw without a box, like a loose watch, was about $120. Um, if you had the, the box, it, that kind of skyrockets it up to in the $200 range, um, if you had the complete thing. But I just had that. But a pretty cool score, I thought. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a battery, replace the battery for it, see if it works. Um, and then I'm, I'm tempted to keep it, to be honest. It, it was a really cool score. Uh, I don't have any Nelsonic watch games, and I actually have looked into getting them, but they're always super expensive when you look on eBay and stuff. So to actually find one in the wild, no, it's not, you know, uh, a Nintendo one. And could have been cooler if it was like a Mario or something, but um, still something I, I'd be tempted to keep. If I'm in dire straits, maybe I'll sell it, I don't know. Anyway. That is everything from this weekend, uh, really just today, and unfortunately it was kind of a truncated yard sale day. We didn't get the flea market in because of the rain, and there were a bunch of sales that were kind of shut down because of, uh, because of the rain as well. So, still pretty decent though. This is the first, like, good weekend, I feel like. I got some stuff that I can use for the kitchen, some stuff I could use for my shop, uh, a couple of little trinkets, a couple movies to watch, and, um... Uh, couple of good things to sell or trade. I call that a score. Um, I didn't calculate how much I spent altogether, but it wasn't too much. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try to do some more like driving around yard sale videos soon. Um, I think I have a couple things coming in the mail that I can uh, unbox for you guys. But other than that, I'll see you when I see you. Breathe deep in the night. Bye.